The term grail is so expansive and unique depending on the shoe, depending on the moment, and depending on your love for sneakers and what you like. Some people may think like, Hey, what up and welcome to another episode of Crease Teeth and on today's episode, it was actually shot a little bit back. When I did the outlets trip, I did this, I did another, I, I basically hadn't been to Sydney in a minute and managed to get like three videos out of it. Stretching them out a little bit with maybe one of them or the other one will be dropped on Thursday. We'll have to see because... I'm waiting on something to rock up and I think it will rock up Wednesday so maybe we'll see but the idea was head into the city see what's about there's a bunch of shoes that I'm like I'm keen on but I need to see in hand I was also hoping to see the Futura Olympic collection in hand certain stuff that I could just get on the app certain things I can't and I'm trying to get amongst all of that but the dns with that hyper blue fade i want to see them in hand the safaris see if there's any saunders left and them gold jordan one joints i think they've got a uh a keychain as well i might need them me being midas they're gold a lot nicer than the white and gold ones i'll say that although i still want that pendant let's go Trying to think what we're going to do. I definitely want to go to the outlets in the city and maybe Patty's Markets. I want to see if they got like bootleg Olympic shit, something like Olympics going on. I want to see what they got. Hoping to see the Nike Jams, the DN Fades. And if they got the Safari dogs, I've already purchased them online, but I may cancel that and just grab them. Let's go. Oh yeah, and wet cements. I feel like I can, I'll probably see a pair of wet cements. See them in hand, see how they go. It's actually a new hype outlet, well not outlet, store at World Square. So I might check that out. actually so busy in that hot store could barely like get a look in but have a look at those Nimbus 10.1s uh, maybe a protest or something going on. It's like a million cops to this one. Like we're far away and that we can make someone else take care of this. But something that every Ukrainian is realizing. Did he go? 
much, so much crazy shit. On shelves, but like random crazy shit. Like if you think about it, safaris were going for crazy amounts. Now they're just sitting. Joe Freshgood collabs. Um, Salehi Bembury collabs. Jordans. Air Max. Everything. Air Max 180s. It's good to see though, to be fair. I actually didn't film it, but I saw the Futura white t-shirt. I'm hoping Nike's got all the black stuff, but we'll see. I don't think supplies open yet. And they got they got a bit of the Japan breaking gear. Gets 10,000 likes, I'll buy that full Playboy kit. 10,000 views. We'll do 10,000 views. I don't know what it is. Like, anytime I go on the Culture Kings website, I see a bunch of stuff. I'm like, oh man, I need to see that in person. And if I see it in person, I'll probably buy it. Go in the store and just never see it. Fake security. <laughs> I mean, I had like fake security. They're not even like fucking talk to anyone. The dudes like looking all regal, acting like bro. That's almost our Nelk boy shit. Easily spotted. Twenty percent off. Future stuff here, like the Olympic stuff. Oh, I don't oh sorry. <laughs> I'm so disappointed with the future breaking stuff. I can't see the jams, nothing. I'm 
very, very disappointed that there's been no like Olympic gear, future Olympic gear, no jams, no nothing. Like there's been nothing. The only thing that I really wanted to see in hand was the shocks, which they're way too wild for me, but I love seeing them. The what else? Saw the wet cements, they don't really do it for me. Saw the TN, what everyone's saying, uh, the DN. Let's get away from this music. Saw that DN with the hyper blue fade. I think what everyone's been saying is the fade should have been lower, and I kind of agree. We're going to go to NBA store, Adidas, and then outlets. The term grail is so expansive and unique depending on the shoe, depending on the moment, and depending on your love for sneakers and what you like. Some people may think like a certain pair of New Balance is their grail. Um, for me, I want to say like Pippins were a grail for me. Infrared 90s, White Cement 3s, like... Also be a grail right now. Carhartt falls, but that's never happening. But you get what I'm saying. Like over the years, certain things have garnered certain attention. They become less available, and their entails you considering them a grail. So I'm just going to run through this list right quick of things that we saw and things that. I know certain people consider these a grail. So we had the safaris, right? I want to say in one of the groups that I'm in, someone's pair literally fell apart the week these dropped. It's almost like it was meant to be. You went to put them on, they crumbled straight down to copper pair. And they're sitting, they're sitting on shelves. You can get this pair because I feel like in the last couple of years, 
sneakerheads have almost been conditioned to only like certain things where a pair of safaris is a dope shoe now i didn't cop but i still appreciate them olympic sixes if you think about the dream team and all that type of stuff that's a crazy pair I like red and blue together, even though I literally am wearing a polo hoodie that's navy blue with red, but I don't know. For me, not a growl for me, but I know a bunch of people that are just super diehard Jordan fans. Like, that is a growl, that's an instant cop. You also had the Olympic Pippins. They're really nice in here. Not for me, but considered a grail amongst many. The Saunders, I know my guy Slim the Cool Cat on IG. For him, that was a grail. For them to come back around, he was so stoked to be able to cop. He hit me up, he's like, yo, you getting these? Like, he was so excited. I'm like, I'm excited that you're excited, but it's, it's cool to see. It's cool to see different things happening and different retros. We're not just retroing one, two, three, and four. You know what I mean? But... Going deep into the archives, I do like seeing it, but they're not a pair that I need, personally. The Adidas A3s, though. Let me tell you, back in the day, everyone knows the Nike Shock, right? For whatever reason, I never really liked them. I gravitated towards Adidas's version, which was the Adidas A3. I want to say, back in the day at Auburn... I got a pair for like, it was either 45 or 54. I went there with my dad. We went there and I changed my mind. And I was like, hey, if you ever go over there and that pair is still there, like I'll, I'll need a 10 and a half. He did. We did that. That was like one of my favorite pairs for the longest time. I want to say the only thing that killed it was like my dog ate them. That was, I want to say, not the full micro bounce or A3 technology. It only had it sort of a third of it. So the blue and white pair, like the red and white pairs dropped. If the blue and white pair drops, I, I'm going to have to get it. Especially, especially since how good my Bulldogs are doing right now. Stay tuned. I did have a, a first episode that I wanted to do for Midas does all the things, but I may change that when we go to the footy. I think that might be more interesting. That might be fun, especially for people across the world that watch these videos. Um, it'd be dope to show you that because it's such a centralized and unique thing to the area. But if you want to talk TNs, right? I know it's a completely different subculture of sneakers, but the Fireberries were reselling for like thousands of dollars prior to them being re-released. They're now sitting on shelves. Tigers, an original colorway. OG colorway from when they came out back in 1998. Every time they come out, they sell out. They dropped in like boutique outlets. This is how far removed like a lot of the TN community is with just regular sneaker heads. They dropped in like subtype, laced, all these types of places and people were like sharing them in TN talk on. Is this place legit? I've never heard of them. I was like, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. And how many pairs wouldn't have sold based on that? And people were literally just waiting for him to come to Foot Locker. Crazy. I've seen them in hand. I do like TNs. I never really liked them. The Hyper Blues when they drop, which I think is meant to be next year now, I may call. But the whole general thought around this is again, it just comes down to what a special time this is for sneakerheads. Like, if you weren't just caught up in the hype of the last couple of years, if you genuinely care about sneakers and you like what you like, there are so many cool pairs just on shelves at the moment. And the fact that 
to a point we're getting retros, Yeezys, collabs at the outlets, like I showed you last video. It's insane, man. Absolutely insane. And it's coming back to them times where like, back in the day when I didn't have so much money, not that I've got a lot, don't, don't at me, I'm not lending nobody no money, but um, back in the day when I didn't have much, I would go to the outlets, travel up from Newcastle, go to the outlets, find something crazy that no one might have seen around here. And for like 50 to 100 bucks, you get something crazy. It's getting to that point too. It's almost at that point. I would say it's it's probably at that point, um, which is a special time in my memory. And maybe there'll be some kids around like 18, 19, 20. They'll have the same sort of experience. Although every kid seems to have like essentials and all types of crazy money these days. I don't know. I don't know how this all works. Maybe this is why we've got inflation. I don't know. I still kind of feel like inflation a big part of it was like resellers buying up everything that's a story for another day but this has been another episode of crease tea let me know what did you see that you enjoyed for me like the a3s were big for me to see that um i actually did make a purchase i'm actually it's just a plain black jordan tea um that's what i was Holding in the Nike bag when I put my hand in the Steph Curry thing. I want to say Steph Curry got some small hands, bro, because my hands ain't that crazy big. And, like, that was perfect. That was my size hand. So, I don't know. He is a point guard. But, yeah, let us know in the comments. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. What are you checking for? Is there something you saw that you weren't initially aware that was sitting? Like... If you live in Sydney or Melbourne, these type of things, like seeing this stuff all the time is quite regular. If you're like the rest of us who don't live in Sydney or Melbourne, or maybe you're like from the States, we get a lot of viewers from the States at the moment. Like if you're not living in a major city, a lot of this stuff you don't see. But for me, I, I just enjoy seeing it all. I love everything that's happening with the sneaker game at the moment and can't wait to see what happens next. But this has been another episode of Crease Tea. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and we'll be back every week. Peace. I gotta get used to it. I, I know I did like an outro like once that wasn't like twice a week. And I don't know, I can't remember what it was. This sounds janky. <laughs> I gotta get used to it, but yeah. Plenty of content coming. Um, I feel like at some point it's gonna be like at least three different things like going at once and we'll just bounce between it all and hopefully you guys don't get sick of me i don't know we'll see